Hi everyone, i um, got a quick video for you. I've been making some more um, clay embellishments. I've got some more silicon mould and um, here's my moulds. It's one of a rose. That one, a little bit thin that will look. But it doesn't affect it. And the rose. And then, I mean, I got all these. Let me lay them out in the tray. I got all these out of one lot of silicon so it cost me £12 for the silicon and I've got all these lift the camera up so you get quite a few moulds and there's some big ones in there as well you get quite a few moulds out of them so there's the moulds and um, here's the embellishments um, this one I thought turned out really pretty and I like the way it's sort of dimply and it hasn't sort of, you know, gives it a really vintagey, shabby cheeky kind of look that, you know, it's old and and that. So I got I did these in different colours. And I thought they were really nice for the centre of flowers. I thought they looked really pretty. Bits of bling. And this was an earring. So there's all kinds of things that you can use. And all I did with the colours is I got some of my DecoArt um, metallic oyster pearl, dazzling metallics, elegant finish. I got some of that and um, the pink is mixed with the raisin ink. Sorry, let me focus you in. Is It's with the raisin and the... Light gold is with the latte. The green is with bottle. And the silver is with the eggplant. And that's mixed with the pearlescent paint and that's what they come out like. So there's them. I also, I love the big rose. I mean, I think this looks absolutely stunning. Just I've got any more. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? There you go, look at the shimmer. Aren't they stunning? That that this one is literally just with the pearlescent paint on its own. These ones are the ones mixed with colours. I think they just look really gorgeous. And then with the cameos, what I did is I watered the paint down and then I literally just rubbed it over with a wet wipe and took it off of the image. So that's the rose one, then green. I also done it in the eggplant, which turned out quite silvery. Um, I think this one turned out the best. Looks really old. And then there's this one. As well. And this one. And there's another pink one. Just there. And then I tried and just sort of brushed it over the flower so the rest was white and then I brushed it around the edges as well there you go just around the edges so that it just looked a little bit more worn and then I had these two which was a ring sorry I don't know why it's not focusing in they were a ring but they turned out really pretty I've got another two flowers, roses, and I've got smaller roses as well. There's the smaller ones. Really, really pretty. And I used these ones in one of my projects a 
as a centre of a flower. So I thought they look really, really cute. <coughs> and um, I also used one of the big ones at the top, but I embossed it. And that's, that's up there. And I believe, as well as the flower in one of one of there, that's a rusted old cameo that I made. So yeah, I thought that looked really nice. So that's how I used them, and um, I did the same with the cameos. I put the colour on and then brushed it off so it looked all antiquey and old. And um, and then some of them I just completely coloured over the top. Um, that's another one. There's a pink one. They turn out really pretty. And these was another set of earrings. Which what I love about these is you've actually got the. I don't know if you can see that, but the the effect of the earring on the clay, so it actually gives it more of a shimmer with the shape that it's come out. So I really really like them. Um, this was also an earring, and I love how they've turned out. I think they're going to be stunning as the middle of flowers. I really really like them. If I was to There you go. Really nice. So I'm really pleased with these. I also got these as well. This was a button. And that's if if the bead pearls weren't on there. But that would look really nice. And this was a button. And another one like that. And I also have some smaller roses, which are teeny little earrings that I made a mould of. Um, this was one of the old vintage buttons that I got from that um, vintage haul I did when I went to our um, the antique store. That looks nice. I do like that. And um, I think that's it really. They're just copies of everything. Oh, this is another one. A button. That's not a button, sorry. This one's the button. That was the earring. So, yeah, I thought they turned out really, really pretty. There's another rose. I'm really, really pleased with them. These are definitely my favourite. I think they're lovely. Really turned out well. So give that a go. Um, go and get yourself some silicone mould and... Um, mould some of your flower centres because with a bit of pearlescent paint um, you save yourself a fortune plus you can keep the moulds forever so that's always good you can make as many of them as you like so thanks for watching happy crafting take care